Cool. Maybe we'll pick it up. Yeah, there we go. We, <laughs> after we had two baseball stories in a row, oh, right? Wow. You know, I mean, yeah. so we had uh, the folks from the All American Girls Baseball okay. League, okay. and I bet that, that'd be a good Christmas gift, perhaps. Yes. The holidays are yes. coming up. All right, do you want to begin here with Absolutely. this one, Chloe? How about you do the honors? Hello, WBAY. You're up in Green Bay. I'm in Madison. How are you? I'm kind of shocked. I. <laughs> You know, this is my was my first nomination, my first and first win, obviously. Yes. Uh, and I kind of wasn't expecting it, given the category of people I was up against. But you know, I'm glad that the work came I did was. <laughs> yeah, I came out a winner. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about you know what inspired you to tell this story? Well, you know, the format of our show is you know we like to tell longer form stories. You know, it's instead of just a newscast where it's you know short little segments. You know. We have big, long three to five minute segments where we like to tell big, long stories about people, events. And, you know, this was such a unique event coming up. And we found out, you know, two veterans from our area were going to Normandy as part of this trip. And we were like, we have to tell this story and we have to make it an entire half hour long special. And, you know, it was just, you know, and obviously, you know, the average age of all the veterans going is over 100. And so, you know, we don't have a lot of time to tell those stories. And it was remarkable to be able to find two people just in, in northeast Wisconsin who, who we could share their story. That's incredible. And you are, by the way, Joe Horning. Am yes. I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes. And so the producer, hi, there's a skill before we even get to the part of the production. But finding veterans, let alone those who have a compelling story and, and voice. Can yes. you share that early stage of the journey? You know, it, it's, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to my anchor Chris Roth you know our entire show is like a symbiotic relationship between him and I you know like we will we'll work in tandem on everything and you know we both work to like try to find these veterans and thankfully like you know one of them I uh, he just happened to like learn like oh hey there's a veteran here and oh they happen to be coming down ne uh, like next Tuesday or the person's niece if I remember correctly was bringing him down to come to uh, some physical therapy and you know we brought him by the studio on like you know a date on like an hour's notice and it was wonderful I you know and to be able to find those people as well as you know our other interview subjects for this special was remarkable and you know it's kind of just a testament to the hard work that you know, him and I put into this show absolutely and I mean like you were saying you know a lot of these veterans are getting up in age so them telling their stories but knowing that you're there to document it you know these stories are going to live on for the end of time i mean how does that feel to you knowing that you are pretty it, much cherishing these people it stories? honestly feels wonderful just because you know i have i've i have world war ii veterans in my own in my own family and obviously you know they're dwindling by the year and it's it's just remarkable to hear their side of the story because you know um, Jack Krzyzewski, one of the men we interviewed, you know, the interview went about 50 minutes and honestly, I could have put, we could have put the whole thing in. He had some remarkable things to say. So did Vaughn, you know, them talking about their experiences, both, you know, before the war, during the war, during the D-Day operation, after the war, what happened afterward, you know, them being, you know, recruited for this trip. It was just a remarkable to hear those stories and, you know, being able to share that with our viewers, uh, I honestly don't have words. I, I, I feel honored to tell to tell that story. At a time of such a, a fractured country, going back to a time when America really was able to come together, heroism of that. Thank you so much for sharing your story and congratulations on your very first Emmy yes, there, Joe. It's incredible. We're gonna bring in our next guest and let you enjoy and cherish <laughs> that hardware. <laughs> Come on over. You know, Chloe, I have to say that I was speaking with someone earlier about uh, 